Wargaming have recently buffed this vehicle, which is the Tiger One Hammer. It's the premium version of the Tiger, which you can pick up in, of course, the premium tech tree. The Hammer is essentially a Tiger that has slightly better statistics than the tech tree version, at least in terms of the statistics that count. But Wargaming have buffed this vehicle alongside with the typical Tiger that we see in the tech tree line. And they've actually given this tank increased turret armor so that it is in line with the tech tree version of the tank. That was one of the weaknesses of the Tiger 1 hammer compared to the standard Tiger. And although these changes are not going to make this tank incredibly different, they are certainly going to allow you to bounce maybe one or two shells every now and again and so yeah to a tank that was already very very powerful hmm not entirely sure why they would do it and this tank definitely was not performing in a terrible manner either because this tank is one of the best tanks at tier 7 in terms of its damage per minute because a tiger with a 4.3 second reload to be able to do I believe 240 damage uh, yeah it's um it's rather good shall we say so you're sat at around 3000 plus dpm every single time uh, you play this tank if you've got it with advanced loader and you're using some of the loading mechanic perks that are going to boost up your damage per minute so with that all being said we're playing in uh, a matchup which is pretty good at least in terms of not having any tier 9s etc to be able to contend with in this game but uh, this game definitely doesn't go how maybe you'd want it to go when you're playing in a tank like this we've got a lot of uh, the team kind of sat around and we're already down by two tanks which is yeah not great at all on a map that is predominantly a kind of slug fest where you've just got to slug it out with the opponents and avoid taking a ton of damage uh, we've got a light tank who unfortunately was yolo by the enemy light tank because you know yolo light tanks and everything um either way the Tiger One Hammer definitely can be quite competitive. It also has pretty good view range for a heavy tank at tier 7, uh, allowing you to spot opponents. It is certainly not a spotter though, because it gets terrible concealment, which you can probably expect from a heavy tank. But at the end of the day, uh, if you play it with view range, you're going to be able to spot pretty much everything that is going to be firing at you, alongside some of the people that will be camping at the back. Now, uh, we get off a lucky shot here against the Challenger, which is brilliant. And puts us up to nearly a thousand damage already with just one more shot and we'll be definitely there uh, the hellcat probably one of the more seal clubby the tech tree vehicles in the game but i guess he can go back to the garage with his seal clubbing ways and there you go now we've brought back the advantage to 12 versus 12 which is good because this map can be a bit of a pain if the enemy team do push to k5 and k6 which is where the light tank is currently on their team so let's start actually removing some of the hit points of these vehicles that we're facing. The T-3488 is definitely the one uh, that we need to get rid of in this game. So with that is exactly what we're doing. We put in a couple shots there and we're up to 1500 damage basically already, uh, which is great. The health of this vehicle, 1550, puts it in a solid region. It's up there with some tier 8 heavies to be honest. Um, and that's kind of nice considering that the armor model of both the Tiger and the Tiger 1 Hammer, which has been buffed, uh, is definitely not the best um, in terms of being able to actually block damage. It really relies upon coming up against tier 6 whilst angling and hoping that they're going to bounce off the side of you or bounce off of the tracks or get absorbed their ammunition by the tracks. Yeah, it's... A definitely a tasty snack for opponents if you aren't on it with the amount of gun uh, kind of uh, accuracy and that sort of stuff and also using the damage per minute this vehicle offers and one of your worst nightmares would be a wild kv2 or something like that that could come around and pen you through the front of the tank um yeah not particularly the best tank to be able to do that we go for an auto in there definitely not with the play we could definitely get one actual round into him and there you go, we actually bounce around. Nice to see. Uh, it doesn't usually happen in the Tiger, as I'm sure any of you who have actually played the Tiger 1 will probably know that feeling. 
the only disadvantage of playing a Tiger really over some of the other tanks, something like a KV-3 for example, is not only the armor being significantly worse, but you don't have the highest alpha damage. Uh, but the whole point is that you are trying to look for the weak points of enemy vehicles and capitalizing on it, really pumping out the damage where it's needed. We take a hit from the stock IS, which is uh, I feel as bad as we snap him and then uh, get him out of the game. But there is a KV-3 over there who's a bit of a pain and he's smart. He goes back. We knew that uh, if we could catch him in the track, we could probably remove this guy pretty easily. It's only two shells to be able to get rid of him. I go for a little uh, kind of speculative shot there. He does move back and right as we fire, which is a little bit disappointing, but it appears like the KV-3 is indeed a stock vehicle again. Uh, we go for another speculatively shot because we know we're going to reload by the time he comes again. And uh-oh, we've got artillery looking at us. The key weak point of the Tiger line, the artillery. Uh, we are a big bag of hit points for artillery to remove from the game. And here you go, the KV-3 exposes the side of his vehicle, allowing us to finish him off for a nice chunky amount of damage there. Two and a half thousand damage done, and now we can just push towards the rest of the enemy team. And as we push towards them, uh, we should be able to actually uh, get a shot on whoever is in the middle of this game. Uh, we also know that the artillery was actually behind us. Uh, we go for a shot on the IS here. Hopefully we can get another one into him before he escapes. And there you go. He's out of the game too. So we're up to 2.8k damage with five enemies taken out in this game. A very good result. Uh, and of course it's down to us really now uh, to win this game. The Jackson decides he's coming from the side. We're going to go for a shot there. And oh, not great. That actually goes f f missing by a ton, uh, but he does expose himself again. We've got the hit points to trade here. It's not really a problem for us at this point, which is where saving your hit points to the end of the game can be very, very powerful. We find ourselves a nice little French uh, artillery piece who we can put one into. Hopefully we can get another one into him, which we do. Brilliant, it breaks his gun, which is fantastic. He hasn't got a repair kit, and there you go. We finish him off for the sixth enemy of this game picking up 3.6 thousand damage and are already three marked tiger one hammer we marked this ages ago before we even knew that there was uh four marks that could be had in the game so yeah this is a very old tank and it's certainly been made even better with the turret buff and whether or not that should have actually even happened i'm not entirely sure but definitely uh, was a very strong tank and it feels even stronger now uh, considering how good of performances you can have in this tank if you play it correctly but of course the previous game was up against tier sevens uh, so what about when you're coming up against tier eights can it compete in a tier 8 game well first things first is armor is absolutely nothing in this sort of gameplay you really do not have any armor which is why you kind of have to play the tiger line at least up to the tiger one like a medium vehicle you can't be a traditional heavy tank you don't have the armor it's simple the armor model of this tank because it's not actually facing realistic opponents like you would see in the actual wars uh, with things like the shermans uh, that would just actually bounce off of this thing uh, we are playing a game after all and balance has to be a thing uh yeah you do get penned quite a lot and so the armor of this thing very very flat you get penned everywhere and almost every single time people will auto aim you and because you're quite tall the hull armor of this thing is quite tall everything on the hull armor is flat it is basically an auto pen by anything above tier 7 and including tier 7s as well so you have to take that into account when you're thinking about playing the tigers you have to play it like a medium tank these things have incredible accuracy for a heavy tank in rivaling that of the medium tanks their dpm rivals the medium tanks and in often uh, as a tier 7 it actually has better dpm than a lot of the medium tanks at this tier which is pretty crazy considering that this is supposed to be a heavy tank and so yeah this has a uh, very very powerful dpm and so you don't want to be sitting out in front of a tiger uh, but if you are wanting to take one of these things out because it doesn't have the best armor if you want to kind of have some advantages against it you want to be aiming at the hull armor you want to be aiming at the flat plates on the top of the hull armor alongside the lower plate as well and you also want to be aiming at the engine deck if you can find the side of it the rear of the vehicle from the side would be a easy way 
of uh, setting this thing on fire. It does have a pretty good fire chance, so it's not the best in the game, it's not the worst, uh, but certainly if you're firing at the side and the rear of the side, yeah, you can set this thing on fire quite easily. Unlike some of the British tanks, the, uh, yeah, the engine is actually in the rear of the tank, as you probably expect by where you can see the exhaust, um, but either way, that's kind of where you want to be hitting this thing uh, if you do get some free shots. So, uh, the great thing about the Tiger is that this gun works up to tier 9. It genuinely is very, very good. Your premium ammu ammunition is very, very strong when you come up against a lot of opponents, so you don't have any problems in that regard. So you definitely want to be loading that premium ammunition to be able to take people out. And that's exactly what I kind of aim for when I do play a vehicle like this. We end up tracking the CS-52 list there, uh, which is great. He angled way too high and actually exposed the track as well as the actual tank and now we're finding ourselves a CC uh, who's pushing up as well we're just trying to get a few shots off we actually blind fire the CS there which is great and we're gonna go for the side of the SMV here he gets removed pretty quickly exposing all sorts of angles on him um, on a tank that basically has impenetrable frontal armor in a game like this not the best idea uh, but we do bounce off of a firefly which is just perfect exactly what I wanted and he gets taken out anyway we then snap onto the Leo using the amazing dispersion of this vehicle uh, to remove him as well so we're up to 1700 damage and this is literally what the hammer does it's a it's a medium tank in disguise it genuinely is um, and you really have to play it in that regard. You can play it like a heavy. You should be brawling in this thing. You should be up close and personal um, because you have the hit points to trade. Uh, it's just that you do have the option to kind of come up against people. You can track them. You can take them out pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty nice experience to uh, to kind of play. Just very very casual gameplay. You don't have to think a huge amount. Um, obviously you should be thinking, you should be thinking about where you need to go uh, and that primarily comes down to the speed, you need to make sure you're in the right positions if you want to deal damage throughout the entire game, which is why I was pushing up here, moving into a different position and now it's just a case of pushing down the last couple of enemies in this game, we've picked up four enemies as well, so two games where we've literally just taken apart opponents and remove their health very easily without really taking a ton of damage you play it in a somewhat passive role um, but also making sure that you are on the forefront so if you do need to move you're not super far back you don't want to be sniping in this thing um, but yeah the accuracy just makes hitting weak points so so easy and um, this tank just feels incredible to play and can we get the last shell into the t28 yes we can because the dpm is broken yay and there you go 2.5 thousand damage in this vehicle and not a bad result epic victory coming top of the team not as much xp not as much damage but a pretty good result for the hammer picking up nearly twice the damage as the hit points of this tank and if you've got any questions or queries or you want to find out anything about the tiger line and maybe you want to see a specific video on the tiger one and of course the tiger two then let me know in the comment section down below and i will make sure to cover those as those have also recently been buffed and that might be an interesting look to see whether or not they're actually better um, or worse as a result of those buffs and i will see you in the next video take a look at these if you're interested in watching more and goodbye